It looks like you guys modified this on 1221. So it looks like you modified it after I was in here at 642 p.m. Mm -hmm. So you guys changed this because of me? All right, squad, we're back at the Severna Park Library today uh, just to get a copy of the policies and things like that. So let's make sure they don't freak out and try to get us banned from the library this time. Hey, can I have a copy of your guys' policies, please? I'm sorry? Can I have a copy of the library policy, please? Concerning what? Exactly. Um, Nisa showed me a piece of paper last time concerning filming and stuff in the library. Well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Okay. So I just wanted a copy of that for my own records. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, let me go ask her if she still has it. One okay. is going to print it up for you and be right up. Okay, thank you, thank you. What are they? What are we, I saw. Okay. Yeah. It looked like something I could do with my little nephew, so I wanted to check it out. Yes, Would there's it, also a QRL um, that you can, it will take you right to it. To the thing? Okay, yeah. now are they all the same kit, or are they different science projects? Or? Um, no, they're all the same. All kit, the same. It's all going to be a program that's on that particular date. Which awesome. I can't, I don't have the date memorized yet. But no, you're good. Uh, d d d the 22nd. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. you. You said there was a QR code. You said there was a, uh, a QR thingy? Sorry, I don't want to scream. Sorry, and uh, I talk loud as it is. I don't want to scream from over there. You said there was a QR code? Oh, the, I see yeah, it. Yep. Right Duh. Top. Right in front of me. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. See, I like services like that. You know, I'm missing nobody sees my phone password. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Oh, it's cool. Third Eye does this. What's up? Hey, what's up? I just want to get a copy of that. That was all. We had read it last time. It said, uh, it said it's something about, you know, recording staff and customers, and I could only record, like, uh, like the artwork and the, the building, the building. And, uh -huh. and that's what I was doing so I was curious why uh, why like that became an issue because in reality I was only ever walking around filming the building I didn't yeah, that's, that's, I didn't like approach anybody or anything oh I want to grab my things I want to grab my stuff oh, yeah. Um, yeah no you're good no that was all I was just curious once I like look back and I I, I, I also figured you probably put the privacy complaint in. I wasn't really sure how YouTube worked. This is my like first month using YouTube. So I wasn't uh -huh. aware that I had to like blur people's faces out and stuff like that. So uh, good learning experience for myself as well. So it's all about educating mm -hmm. for sure. Uh -huh. I was just curious when I look back at the video, it says something about, you know, being able to film the building and like the artwork and the structure and the architecture. And that's what I was doing. So I was curious why, like, why we had an issue to begin with and why. You know what I mean? I came in here quiet. I explained to you nicely what I was uh -huh. doing. I was nice the whole time, so I just don't know why like we even had that interaction. Once I look back at filming, recording, and photography procedures, I was within these procedures, and I was following these these procedures and policies that you set in place, so why was it an issue? Well, if you remember, I said that we needed to get permission if if you were filming people, which you were. No, I wasn't. Um, incidentally, that no. you were. Well, the oh, well, incidentally, yeah. But well, there were people that you weren't just filming the building. Well, that's like saying that someone so, that walks behind a news camera has to get permission. Like, like if the news goes up and puts the camera in their face and tries to make them the focal point of the video, yeah, they would have to get permission. But like, if they're just, you know, 
like her walking by. She's not, you know, I don't have to give yeah. her permission or anything because she's just walking by. Sure. I'm not making her the focal point of the thing. And I didn't make anyone the focal point. I tried to, uh -huh. I tried to actually make it a point not to do that. That was all. I was just, I just wanted to come and get a copy of this for yeah. myself because yeah. uh, there are a lot of people who are, uh, there are a lot of people who are for what I'm doing and there are also a lot of people who are upset about what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. um, I wanted to have this so I could show the people who are upset and think that I was violating some procedure or policy that I was within the library's policies and procedures that I was uh, within the rights that you guys even grant me uh, within your unconstitutional piece of paper here that I was still within yeah, those that I didn't do anything wrong and that was all I was just curious but you weren't within our guidelines and the police said that you don't ha didn't have to be but our guidelines said that you needed to get permission of anybody you were filming and I mean you got yeah, it on yeah. camera you telling me that you didn't have to do that because people gave up their right to privacy they do yeah they do okay I do. so then I mean that's why that's why I was allowed to feature my thing now sure. now YouTube doesn't work the same this is where it gets tricky sure. YouTube doesn't work the same as the the United States in itself, even right, though it's, a, it's a, a business. business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so they can say that I have to blur your face or blur people's faces and things like that. But like out in public, I don't have to not record you just because you don't want me to. But even then, like I wasn't going up to anybody. Like the only person who had an issue with it was the guy that was sitting right there that like yeah, made a big actually stink about it. Actually, other people did have an issue. They just didn't talk to you about it. They talked to us. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that's the best thing. Mm -hmm. In reality, they probably shouldn't confront someone that isn't doing no, anything absolutely. wrong or, you know what well, I mean? Well, we, we prefer that if people have an issue with each other, that they let us <laughs> navigate through that. But, yeah. Um, so, as I said, the police cited... It looks like you guys modified this on 1221, so it looks like you modified it after I was in here at 6.42 p.m. Mm -hmm. So you guys changed this because of me? I don't know if it was because of you. I would suspect that that was part of it. Okay. Um, the police. Um, Can I get a copy of the one that you printed out the night you know, before with modified? The, the, it's all online, and I because okay. I looked for that. That's why it took me a couple of minutes. So once something superseded, yeah, I don't I don't have one. Now is that something? Um, is that something? Uh, Kathy Hollerback would have or no? Um, you know, I don't know. I can try to find out for you. Okay. Um, I didn't even know that she was like the, uh, like the, she's like the uh, chief operating officer of the. Uh, libraries around here. I went to school with her daughter. So I actually oh, I knew her. Really yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, so okay. Uh, I went to school with her. So as soon as I called and uh -huh. we recognized the name, I was like, yeah, I've been over to y'all's house for Christmas parties. Name is that usual. Yep, yeah, yeah exactly. As soon as I saw the last yeah. name, I was like, yep. The wording changed some, but the essence is still the same. Okay. That you still, that what we're asking is yeah. that you get permission. Like if I came um, to do like an interview or something, well, I would need permission even, to. Now see, okay. Here, that's that for you. Um, that was all. I was just curious, yeah. just because, like, I hadn't, I, I dealt with this at the Crofton Library and the Annapolis one too. And I, uh -huh. in reality, I didn't even plan to go to the Crofton Library. I just happened to be at a friend's house down there. And then, as I got in my car and looked up, I was like, Oh shit, that's the Crofton Library. Let me go check that one out. Yeah. And they got real upset down there too and called the police. And the same thing happened. But yeah. even down there, like, I wasn't filming anybody. I was just, you know the walls, the community center, the events, the Dungeons and Dragons thing. I, you know, I bring uh, attention to the science to go. go. Yeah, I'm sure. doing this with my little nephew. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. Definitely uh, happy about that. But yeah, that's yeah. all. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I would wish to not have confrontation. Sure. I know you guys probably think that I wanted the confrontation. Um, while I do wish to educate people and allow them to, uh, to learn, I try to do it without the use of, like, law enforcement officers and stuff like that. That was all. So I just, I just wanted to get a copy of this and just yeah. find out why it was you called them on me, even though I didn't do anything wrong or. Well, you were not anything. following our policy. As I said, the police said you had a right to do what you did. Yeah. So that was. Well, no, um, I was curious how I wasn't yeah. following the policy. That's what I mean. How was I not following the policy? Because you were so many people um, without their permission. But I wasn't though. Well, that's your reason. Um, and libraries, libraries are a place where people. Um, 
and feel safe. Yeah. It's a place for they should feel safe. homeless people to be and have a place to be warm, to use computers. Computers that don't have, have, yeah. Afford Trust me, I myself was poor. I didn't have a computer in my home so until I was a junior in high school. So I spent a lot of time at the Broadneck Library in the fun. summers playing the little games. And we would go up there and play football at Broadneck before yeah. it was a turf. And then go to the library yeah. and get some water and play some games and then go back out and play yeah. football again. So. Well, so let me ask you this. You're so applying for a job. You've got your social security stuff pulled up. Mm -hmm. And somebody comes behind you and is filming your computer screen. And they say, well, hey, I've got a right to do this. Are you going to like that? What social security stuff would they have pulled up on the computer? I do. I applied for retirement, and I had to pull up my social security information in order to apply for retirement. Well, that... Uh, and if I, if I don't have a computer at home, I have to do it at the library, and somebody's filming me doing it. So not the legal part, but just the... I guess I get where you're trying to pull the catch-22, but ultimately I would say they shouldn't be doing things like that on a public computer. Well, what if you didn't have one? What if you needed to do that in 10th grade? Say you wanted to apply to be a page at the library. Well, I was going to say I wouldn't be applying for retirement in 10th grade yeah, or Social Security. Yeah, but say you're applying for a job. And uh -huh. you want to say you've got your phone number, you've got your aunt's phone number because she's going to be a reference. Yeah. Right, and somebody's filming you. And I'm filming out a, a, an online job yeah, application. You're be yeah, happy somebody's filming you doing that. Well, in order to get that type of information, especially off the screen, I would have had to have been over their shoulder and filming mm, the computer screen. We don't know about Zoom, right? Well, yeah, you, you, we know about Zoom, but the point is, is that these computer screens are designed so that when you try to zoom in like that, the pixels are going to be distorted when you go through this yeah. camera and you zoom in on no, that. Especially, <laughs> especially on a GoPro uh, Hero I'm Four. You know, suppose have you I'm ever tried to zoom in on a GoPro Hero Four? I don't. This doesn't even have a zoom option. Okay. They don't even do that. Just say, so. how comfortable would you be if somebody's walking around behind you with a camera? Say you're reading a book about. Um, I know, know, but I but I wasn't but I wasn't but were, walking were, like were, going up and filming anything yeah. that could have been used or viewed or anything like that. Well, I, I didn't even get within a six foot, you know. But there are zoom features. There is the fact that you could have. That's what the policy is not to stop First Amendment. No, I know. The policy is to protect privacy. Whether obviously you know we're we're not within the law, there isn't but any, we want to protect. Yeah. The privacy of people who this is a safe place for them. They want to protect a false sense of privacy that they have while well, out in public. They want to still be entitled okay. to some sense yeah. of privacy while out in public. But well, like, if you don't and have I get a, that. If you don't have a private to do something, to use the computer, you can't afford it. You have to use our internet. You have to come to the library. Yeah. That's, Absolutely. I mean, Trust yeah, me, I, I try. You and me, we could go home and do these things at home. Yeah. If I don't want somebody filming me, I can go home and use my computer at home. Exactly. But what about somebody who doesn't have one at home, can't afford it? What about somebody who's homeless and, and just wants a place to read and hang out? I did notice that uh, Anne Arundel County displaced all those homeless people that I brought attention to. A lot of people were talking about why didn't I go out bring attention to like homeless people or like other things going on yeah, in the county. So I brought attention to all the homeless people that were displaced actually to where the Third Eye Comics used to be, where Third Eye Games used to be right there off of West Street. There was a group of six homeless people living right there on the corner. In, on the, in by the drugstore? Uh, yeah, yep, at the there? very end yeah. of that, yeah, at the very end of that. Um, yeah. So it was the comics on this side and then the game shop on this side. Now they move right down the street into one facility. But right. there was like six or seven too. homeless people in a, yeah. in, a, in a huge homeless encampment. So I brought attention to that. Uh, I didn't make a video. I brought attention to it on Facebook and, you know, made awareness of it. And I just drove by there yesterday and they're all gone. So I hope that the county did something to, you know, to not like this, but exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that's what it's all for. Like, I'm going yeah. out to try to help people. And I don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't not like you guys, Miss Nisa, you know what I mean? As you can see, I, I, I'm, I'm, I am, I would say, school associates with someone whose parent is highly involved within the, the hierarchy of the, uh, mm -hmm. of the library. It was someone who I was friends with. I used to date one of her friends in high school. I mean, we were over there all the time playing games and, you know, hanging out, watching TV. So like funny. I said, Christmas party. Yeah, yeah, it was so weird. I was like, as soon as <laughs> I said the last <laughs> name, I was like, as soon as I said it, she was like, I knew I recognized your name. Yeah. So, you know, we got to talking. So, yeah. I mean, and I don't, I don't come out here to be like personal towards like librarians or anything like that. You guys are some of the nicest, greatest people I've ever met. And like I said, I, I was very um, unfortunate throughout my like, growing up years, so I relied heavily on the librarians within the school and also the Broadneck Library that's 
-huh. like on school grounds. It's weird. Broadneck has this library know, within the right school, and then also other. boom, yeah. yeah. So very yeah. weird. But I, uh, I mean, I appreciate what librarians have done, in you know, over the years now and stuff like that. So I don't want you to think that like I'm coming out here to be like intentional on you or anything like that. I just need uh, the general public to understand, you know, how things how things work. That's all. I, I myself didn't know before a month ago or two months ago or three months ago before how these things work. So. Mm -hmm. It's a learning experience for all of us. I myself am learning every day as well. So it, like where I am wrong and if I am wrong. Like I was out here the one day and I said something about Title 18, U.S. Code 18, you know, 242, da, 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 da. I can't be trespassed. It doesn't say anything about trespassing. I had done bad research and gotten bad information before I started this journey and regurgitated that bad information. Mm -hmm. So I have no problem. Uh, then bringing then attention. Hey, look, I messed up. Place. I did bad research. Yeah. I trusted it. Exactly. <laughs> exact. You know what I mean? I could have yeah. came here and got a law book and found it out a little better. So yeah. uh, I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong and things like that and, and admitting faults and things. So I just, I, I, I use it as an educational experience for all of us. I don't look at it as like I'm trying to only teach you all things. I myself am also learning. So mm -hmm. I try to be a student in the situation as well. That's why I wanted to come and get a copy of the policies and, you know, check them out and make sure and just, uh, clarify you know I, I wanted to see like you know why why it was you called if I was filming and I, I guess I understand where, where you're saying that people want their right to privacy and I can I can see uh, while I don't uh, necessarily like, respect that I can see and understand where their point of view is coming from and I can at least respect that they have their own point of view and I, I you know what I mean I'm not here to tell people that they, they have to change their point of view or things like that. If they mm -hmm. want to think their own way, that's fine. I'm not here to change anyone's point of view or anything like that. Yeah. I'm just here to provide the, the proper information to allow them to make the educated decision on themselves. If they choose the other option, then that's on them. You know what I mean? That's all. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't want you to think I was like doing it personal on you or yeah. trying to be like mean towards librarians or Savannah Park Library or Anne Arundel County Libraries in general. I like you guys. Y'all are cool people. I don't like that you call the cops on me, but you know, I mean... Generally, y'all are cool people, so that was all. I just want to come get some clarification and find out and use this as a learning experience for everybody. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank and, you, Miss Nisa. And, you're welcome. And as you, and as you know, um, you, you can continue filming. I would just ask uh -huh. that you res do unto others like you want to. Exactly, you, right? exactly. And so, um, People do come here because they don't have other resources to do personal things. So Understandable. It's a little harsh to say you can't do you personal don't. things in public when they have no other way of doing it. I understand. You know? I, so I get what you're saying. So that that's that's all. If you would just consider that, yeah. not as a official thing, but just sort of as a request. as like a, a thought. I got like you. Just as a, as a I got thing. you. And I'll put it on the back burner. Yeah. yeah. We'll let it. And we'll let it sizzle. Welcome to <laughs> use the library if you have. Oh no, Questions you were good. Need I had to. Uh, you got your yeah, yeah. Your That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go and crank that out with them. different things for kids. If you, uh, if you had one of our flyers. Things. I actually saw that they were doing D &D the Dungeons and Dragons. So yeah. I've never done uh, D and D, but when I was younger, I played one of the games. Actually, uh, they do it at Third Eye Games yeah, now, but it was be. it was in the mall. Well, we've been working with Third Eye Games for this. Two of our staff are. Um, Doing, okay. Leading this, you should take one. We had a. Absolutely, that's pretty cool. I wish I knew. It's actually the day before, I know, I oh, that, the day before my birthday. When I was out here talking about my birthday, that was the day before. Yep. But um. So, come even though you don't have a character built because uh -huh. what, um, the librarian who's doing this does is he has worksheets. Okay. So he'll hand you a character. And then you can yeah. And then you play by that. Play by the and worksheet so as you opposed can do to that. having yeah. And then we were just actually this morning talking about having a sort of a makeup session because okay. of with COVID and everything being crazy. Uh, two snowstorms. Right. We actually I plow the uh, the business center right here where Gino's and Froyo and stuff like that is. Uh -huh. We have a couple of different contracts and that's one of ours. So oh, I've been over okay. there for the last so like week stuck over there plowing. It's crazy. Yeah, feel free to plow in the library. When Come you over. Yeah. To do that. Yeah. But we were talking about having like a makeup session to learn the basics. Okay. Um, so keep your eyes out for that and then the camp cam campaign play is actually playing. Where they're yeah. But we know there are always going to be new people coming. Always coming, so, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, now, thank you, I, thank you. Yeah. And so, um, do you do that. If you have questions, call us. Awesome. Um, if you wanted to do... I guess I should ask while, we're, while I'm thinking about it. Do yeah. you want your face blurred in this video as well, or do you, is it okay if I use your face in this, or do you want to be blurred in this video as well? Um, I don't have a problem blurring you if you want to be blurred. I can cut out this conversation and then I just blur you if you want I guess to. 
it's I guess it's all right to not. No, you're fine. I mean, if you don't if you don't feel comfortable, I don't I don't you know what I mean. Now that I understand how YouTube works, I don't have a problem asking anyone that I do like uh, personal interviews with. You know, if they feel comfortable with this. Yeah. I don't want to. You know what I mean. If you don't feel comfortable, that's fine. I don't mind blurring you or anything. Okay. I think YouTube, this one would be YouTube's okay. blur thing is sucks, man. They try to say, like, it can follow faces, but for some reason, it didn't get your face. It got the cops. It would get, like, faces on the books as I walked by. So it, <laughs> it registered, like, 47 <laughs> faces, like but it would not pick up yours. Okay. But now, if you moved your hand like that, it would pick up your hand and then instantly drop with your hand, and then I'd have to, like, stop, end the blur, make a new one, yeah. move it back to your face, start over. I'm like, gosh, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. learning as well. I'm learning as well. Yeah. It's, it's okay. a new experience Good. for all of us. Well, but. and I, I know, you know, certainly what, what people do, like, you know, journalists who are trying to raise issues, that's really important is freedom to yeah. know what's going on. And I, you know, I was going to say, you, I like that you did the thing with the homeless because this is a talent and a passion of yours. And there are a lot of things out there that need attention. Um, yep. Exactly. Yeah, that need attention. And exactly. So, um, that's that's pretty cool. So yeah. I know. I don't know. I don't know if me, you know, saying something or making a stink about it on Facebook did anything, but I like to think it did, just for my own, you know, yeah. for my own personal for game. But own. yeah, it well, was weird. I mean, yeah. they've been there for a long time. It just it happened to be in the same week that I made a big stink about it that they yeah. they're so gone. So I hope that they, you know, they instead of like a, displacing them, right, I hope they, they got a good re resolution. Exactly. And maybe, you know, the lighthouse is right there. I know. I know. And Hopefully so, they are able um, to get uh, some of those resources. So. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Miss Nisa. I appreciate You're you guys. Welcome. You and have a nice uh, new year. Uh, thank you. Thank and, uh, you. Maybe we'll see you at the Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to come check that out. Like I said, I, whenever I was younger, I always like thought about it. I just didn't have any like friends that played it or know how to get into it. Oh, the, the staff doing this have done training for us. Okay. And it's been interesting. So you guys are a little versed in it, too. Age to learn something getting into it. And so they're, they're practicing on us how to do things. And it's, very interesting. I think That's pretty cool. Like awesome. Thank you, Miss Neeson. Yeah, have a good one. Okay. So we got ourselves a science kit to do with Little Man. And we're going to come back and check out the D&D stuff they got going on. Um, I guess while they're still trying to hold to that thing, I, I, I get what she's saying. You know what I mean? I, I get what she's saying to a certain extent. That if somebody was out here filling out a job, that they would feel uncomfortable. Now, it doesn't mean that I would stop filming, but I understand where they might feel uncomfortable. I can totally understand that, you know? All right, squad. We're headed off to police headquarters. Signing out.